The Master Tool Little Wonder allows you to set hardware in your leather projects quickly and quietly. Capable of setting snaps, spots, rivets, and more, the Master Tool Little Wonder is a small machine with big possibilities. Handcrafted in Mount Hope, Ohio, the Master Tool Little Wonder is backed by our limited lifetime guarantee. In this video, we are going to go over the variety of attachments and how to use them, general tips and tricks, troubleshooting, and more. When unpacking your box, you'll find that the machine comes completely assembled. All you need to do is fix it to your workbench. The Master Tool Little Wonder's versatility comes from how easy it is to switch out its attachments. Different hardware types require different drivers and anvils which are sold separately. As is, the Little Wonder comes set up with a driver and anvil to set number 104 splash rivets. Let's go ahead and see how it works. First, you'll want to ensure that there's proper distance between the driver and the anvil. The driver should make contact with the anvil near or at the bottom of its arc. You can use the adjustment wheel to raise or lower the driver accordingly. When proper driver distance has been established, you can insert a rivet into the driver, place the material you want to rivet above the anvil, and pull the handle down until the rivet is set. Proper splash rivets should appear somewhat toothy on the back side. From here on out, all attachments are sold separately. You can also set plated number 104 rivets with a magnetic driver and cap anvil. The driver can be removed and replaced by loosening and tightening the thumb screw on the shaft. The anvil is replaced by loosening and tightening the set screw using the included 5 32nd inch Allen wrench. It's especially important with caps to obtain proper distance between the anvil and driver. Test a few caps on some scrap leather to make sure you have the proper distance. You want your rivet to be about 1 16th inch longer than the thickness of your material for cap rivets. A proper set cap should be straight and snug in the cap. Spots are another piece of hardware that look great and are easy to fix to your projects with the Master Tool Little Wonder. Each spot size requires its own driver and anvil. To set a spot, insert your spot into the driver, insert your material, and pull down the handle until the spot is set. The attached metal guide can be used for additional consistency in your hardware placement. Simply loosen and tighten the thumb screw on the machine and adjust the location of the guide based on your project. Setting crystals is similar to setting spots and uses a spot anvil. Simply attach the 5 16 inch crystal driver, insert your crystal, and lower the handle until you begin to feel some resistance. Crystals will set without applying much pressure. If the crystal appears loose, you can always go back and apply a bit more pressure if necessary. Staples can be set with either a spot anvil for decorative purposes or with the loop anvil to create stapled loops. Let's start with the spot anvil. Insert and secure the slide loop staple setter into the machine. Place the staple into the setter and pull down until you feel the staple bite. Using the loop anvil works similarly. Simply insert and secure the loop anvil in place and insert your leather piece. Lower the handle until the staple is set. Setting grommets is simple with the Master Tool Little Wonder. You will need to pre-punch an appropriate sized hole in your material to set a grommet. Refer to this table to see what sized hole you should punch for your grommet. After punching your hole, insert your material onto the grommet and lay the washer on top of your material. You want the top side of your material piece facing down. Then, pull the handle forward until the grommet is set. As with grommets, your material needs to be pre-punched prior to setting eyelets. Refer to this guide to match your hole size with the eyelet size. After fixing the appropriate sized anvil and driver, place the eyelet on the anvil and insert the material you are using. Pull the handle forward until the eyelet is set. Setting Sigma snaps requires pre-punched holes in your material. The top of the snap requires a 3 16 inch hole, while the bottom of the snap requires a 1 8 inch hole. For the top of the snap, insert the 1B anvil and 1T driver into the machine. Place Hardware Component 2 into the anvil and Hardware Component 1 into the driver. Insert your material and pull the handle forward until it is set. For the bottom of the snap, insert the 2B anvil and 2T driver. Place Hardware Component 4 into the 2B anvil and Hardware Component 3 into the driver. Insert your material and pull the handle forward until the hardware is set.
You will need to pre-punch a 3 16 inch hole in your material to accommodate the stem of the 2206 snap. For the top of the snap, insert the 1B anvil and 1T driver. Place hardware component 1 into the anvil and hardware component 2 into the driver. Insert your material and pull the handle forward until it is set. For the bottom snap, insert the 2B anvil and 2T driver. Place hardware component 4 into the anvil and hardware component 3 into the driver. Insert your material and pull the handle forward until it is set. Setting these snaps follows the same process as the Line 20 snaps, just with different sized anvils and drivers. You will need to pre-punch a 3 16 inch hole to accommodate the stem of the snap. For the top of the snap, insert the 1B anvil and 1T driver. Place hardware component 1 into the anvil and hardware component 2 into the driver. Insert your material and pull the handle forward until it is set. For the bottom snap, insert the 2B anvil and 2T driver. Place hardware component 4 into the anvil and hardware component 3 into the driver. Insert your leather and pull the handle forward until it is set. Holes need to be pre-punched before setting double cap, insta rivets, and rapid rivets. A 3 32nd inch hole should work for all sizes. Your rivet should be approximately 1 16th inch longer than the thickness of the material used. Insert the driver and setter into the machine and place the rivet into the setter and cap into the driver flat side up. Insert your material and pull the handle forward until it is set. There are a variety of hole punch tube sizes that can be attached to the Master Tool Little Wonder. Simply attach the threaded punch handle with the hole punching tube of your choice, as well as the brass anvil to the anvil adapter. It is especially important to achieve the proper distance between the tube and the anvil to prevent any damage to the attachments. The tube should pass through your material and just touch the top of the anvil. To keep the little wonder in good working order, we recommend you regularly oil the cam and driver shaft with Lily stitching oil. Just a light film of oil is recommended to keep this machine properly lubricated. If your anvil is off center, loosen the three set screws on the adjustment collar. Move the anvil adapter so that it lines up with your snap or rivet and re-tighten the screws on the adjustment collar. We hope this video has shown just how simple, powerful, and versatile the Master Tool Little Wonder is. For more information or for any questions, visit our website, weaverleathersupply.com.